Thanks, my guys. Okay, right. Hoping to capture the initial fight sequence of the movie before the opening credits and the car chase. And then once we've got that, we'll break around 11. Okay? Just take a look at the type of people who go to cinema nowadays. You'll never hear anybody speaking about the amount of time that's been put into a project whilst the end credits are rolling. The cinema's fucking empty once the cast begin to roll. Everybody's across the road having fucking pizza. How's it going? Are we good? Yeah, not going to get this filming done before lunchtime because it'll take forever to get the track done alone. Track? What fucking track? Dolly track! What is this, the fucking 1990s? I mean, things have moved on. We're in the 21st century now, and it's all about profit. I'm not going to spend an extra six months running around waiting for crew members to frame up every single shot to lay down track. Back in the Stone Age, films were made to be watched more than once. And they'd do the rounds of the cinemas and then return six months later. But then the general public don't notice or even care about camera work anymore. Fucking dolly tracks. I didn't use a dolly track for my bloodbath massacre. And that is out next week, by the way. Oh, we don't want a fucking dolly track. I've worked with the greats, so I'll tell you now. Eston, Hoffman, Hackman. Get back to Paul Greengrass and then get back to me. I've got to admit I'm a big fan of Elu's work with the shaky cam, you know, because without it, I'd be out of a job at this point. I mean, you know, um, I'm not an action hero by heart, you know, I mean, look at me, I'm not, like, massively built, but, you know, he makes me look like a god, like I'm invincible, it's great. Bloodbath Massacre didn't have any smooth panning. That good a cinema release. The people don't seem to realise just how little preparation does go into any scene if it's filmed this way. Mass to me. farewell, mass murdering massacre, that had no smooth panning. So I, I like it done rightly. Um, I don't know, I, I feel it went really well today. Um, we could have got a little bit more gunplay in there possibly, but I, I don't like to over-egg these things, you know? It's just, I do feel that the shaky cam technique is, is it, it's working for us. I've worked with some of the finest directors of our time and I'm very passionate about what I do because oh. I'm a professional. Oh, are you Fred? Yes, well, so am I. So you mean you're not going to use any tracking? Right, I think he's finally got it. Let's get on with it. Let's get back to what we know. Okay, Matt, Bruce, I want you stood near the car with a kind of standoffish approach. What would you yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, I, I completely agree with you. I mean, you get films done very quickly, um, straight in there, boom, on to the next one, on to the next project, new idea, new story, fantastic. No, it's really, really good. Yeah. Get loads of films under our belt. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Bruce. No worries. Ready? Ready? Action! Did you bring my money then? It's in the car. Well, do you want to get it? I don't think so. Fuck's... Cut! Cut! What the fuck's that? Tripod. Fucking tripod. How the fuck are we going to build any kind of tension with a fucking tripod? A standstill shot. Acting. A tripod. A bloody tripod. He didn't know what a bloody tripod were. All oh, right, Fred. OK. Now then, is this your camera? No, it's hired by the company. Good. Right then. Fuck off. You're fired. Fired? Fired! Every now and then, um, when I'm out and about, I'm not making films and stuff, um, get people coming up to me saying, oh, were you in that film? Um, I'm saying, yeah, yeah. I'm not, no, no, was it? We couldn't tell. Um, but, you know, um, I love it. I love the attention. It's great, yeah. You. Another advantage of shaky cam is uh, that anybody can do it. <laughs> Shortly after firing Frederick on set, I simply just picked up the camera and used it myself. Show me where the girl is first. He took it off the, the tripod and stuck it on his shoulder and then he told me what to do. Well, I could have told him what to bloody do. I'll tell you, that tripod nearly went somewhere. All right, well, can die! <laughs> cut! Cut! That's fucking excellent, guys! We'll be on a real six by tea time at this rate. In action! 
I just like how efficient he is, he's fast and he's easy to work with uh, and he's just an amazing director. So we're not going to fuck about with a stunt coordinator or all that shit, okay? Straight into it, okay? I'm going to film it in so close, nobody's not going to know what the fuck's going on. He's just fantastic to work with, I mean, I love the way that he just dominated the, the entire set. I mean, he just, he was there, everywhere. If there's a problem, he fixed it. Something's not working right, sorts it. Until it's over, you mean the fight? Yeah, the fight, until it's over. But how will the audience know what's happened? When the bad guys are laid on the ground. Do I look twatted? He is very big on the shaky cam, but it works, it's efficient. Everybody loves it, everybody gets on. Right, excellent. Let's get on with it. Throw a few effects in. Few well, gunshots. We'll be laughing. Um, he is more quantity than quality, but it works. Bloody shaky cam. <sighs> Just ignore criticism like that. It's whatever, you know. It, it, it is shaky. But working with an actor like Bruce, he's like a dart that hits the bullseye every time. Thanks. Did you bring my money? It's in the car. Do you want to get it? I don't think so. Show me where the girl is first. All right, one second. Die! You look beautiful, yeah, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <coughs> Looks every time. It flows, doesn't it? We've just got that rapport. And that, and you know, I mean, just, I, I know I can do anything with Bruce. And he gets right up in there, right between the legs and the... You know, between the leg shots, you know, over the shoulder, through the fingers. You know, it, it all counts. It all counts, I feel. In, out, boom, bam, wiggle about, it's great. I, I do like the boom, bam. And, and like, you know, when you, when you get that shaky effect and the zoom in, out, zoom in, out, no smooth pan, you get, you know, it's just like, just picking up on Bruce's nostril flare. <laughs> I am now averaging um, a film per month nowadays. And my current project, Indistinct Hero, uh, will be my 58th Shaky Cam feature film. My reasons behind using Shaky Cam is that I find it more than doubles the amount of tension in a scene. Secondly, it involves the audience in a far more dynamic way. I feel that it is the way forward in cinematography and saying that it's a hell of a lot quicker to do. The kind of standoffish approach. I've still forgotten it. I'm not Rob, by the way, I'm Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. We're all here today. I'm hoping to capture the initial shot. <laughs> You'll find in my previous <laughs> bloody acting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Matt, I want you, Bruce, here, right? Um, but. We're not, that's not, no, we're not doing that. It's not that type of film. <laughs> oh, we're going to have this one in the can by real six. Oh, fuck, sorry. Oh. <laughs> 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 you scratch your glasses. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, right. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. It all goes towards what we, you know, <laughs> make as <laughs> <laughs>